Hey, what's up you guys? It's Courtney Fierce here and welcome back to the third and final Rainbow High Slumber Party series video. This one here is going to be all about Marissa Golding. So if you want to see what my full review and unboxing experience and full thoughts on this whole entire line, then let's get right into the video. For starters, I'm going to say a few things about Brianna from yesterday's video. So today obviously is Marissa Golding, the third and final one, Miss Gold. But I did do the bronze one yesterday, and the day before that I did do Robin Sterling, so I will link both of those videos down below if you haven't seen them already, and what my full thoughts are on those two dolls. Um, I just want to say I did my hair like Marissa's, and I did my makeup gold, and this was like the closest thing that I had to gold, so you're going to have to deal with it with a little black scrunchie very much her theme because she's got a little scrunchie. I noticed one thing about all the dolls in this line, they each have some sort of ponytail. So Robin's hair is fully up, hers is in two, and then she has one on the top. So I thought that was kind of cute. So for starters, for, I always want to call her Marissa. And also I like kind of want to change her name to Marissa because I feel like Marissa Dulce. Is that how you say it? People were saying down below in the comments that I was saying it wrong. I was saying Dulce, which like, is always how I've said it on like the East Coast in Canada and like everybody else says it like that too. So I don't know. Um, we're completely wrong. We have like no Spanish here. So of course we're saying it wrong. Of course. Right. But like somebody said in the comments, Dolce and Gabbana. We love it. I did her hair yesterday. I just basically curled it with some foam roller. If you want to see what her, what her hair looked like fully washed out. It is literally softer than Robin's. It is so freaking soft. It's like silky. But let's get right into this doll. So there is a look at the front of the doll box and there is the back of the box as well with the three girls on it. I love, 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 love this picture. I think it is iconic. It's so pretty. Like imagine this just like on your wall. I might actually cut off the back of this one and just like pin it to my wall because it's really that gorgeous. Now for those that haven't watched my other two videos, I will read the little blurb at the bottom. It says, meet the leaders of the super secret sleepover society at Rainbow High. They're all about spa days, hot gossip, and total relaxation. My kind of vibe. Now she is, because I always forget to say what their focus is. She is photography focused. Now for accessories here, her accessories are all in this really nice olive gold color. I must say that it's not quite gold. It's more of an olive gold. So she has her stand and she's got her hanger and it is the rainbow hanger. So the new one. And then she does have a pants hanger as well. I really like these. They're all pretty much the same color of that olive gold. If anything, the hanger is a little bit of a lighter color. But I'm obsessed with this color. It's such a pretty color. I feel like overall with her, it's going to look gorgeous. I forgot to say at the beginning of the video because I said it in my other two, but people were still commenting asking. So listen up, people. <laughs> listen up for those who have asked multiple times how much this doll was and where I got her. I got her at Walmart here in Canada. And I got her for $54.97 Canadian at Walmart in Canada. Okay? Okay, because the amount of DMs, where did you get her? I'm like, I literally said at the beginning, if you would have watched the first two minutes, you would have saw. Sorry, I'm like extra sassy today. Like this like little mall pony is like really doing it for me. This 80s mall pony. So Marissa is finally out of her box. I wanted to show you guys the back just in case you haven't seen my other videos. So the back of these is more of an astronomy theme. So it has moons, stars, all the little tiny things are little tiny stars. I think that's really cute, especially for them to design the back to make it full slumber party themed. I think that is like 10 out of 10. Now, packaging wise, I said this in my other two videos as well. I find this packaging really easy to get the doll out of, but they have a lot of little plastic things kind of stamped through all the fabrics which made little tiny holes in it. I feel like Marissa definitely has the most holes out of everyone. And then Brianna definitely had the least amount. Brianna's were like all in like her like nipple area. So that's really unfortunate because yeah, it just like made it look like she has like nipples kind of poking out all the time. And I mean, that's not really what I want to see on my doll shelf, but like, you know, everybody has their own thing. Now for Marissa, there's a lot of holes in her like, I'm going to say her boxer because I feel like she looks like a boxer. Her boxer like robe, 
there's a lot of holes. And especially in her sleeping bag too, her sleeping bag had a lot, a lot of plastic things. But without further ado, let's just get right into her sleeping bag and pillow. She does come with a gold brush as well that does match the stand perfectly. And then for her sleeping bag, her sleeping bag is actually a different material than the other two girls. Hers definitely feels like, you can even hear it. It's like more like of a crunchier fabric. The other two definitely felt more like satin kind of material. Same as the inside of hers. The inside of hers is definitely a little bit different. It's not satin per se. I don't know exactly what material this is. Like the outside definitely feels like like a leather almost. It's not leather but it feels like a leather. I guess like maybe like a really heavy duty winter coat kind of feeling if that makes sense at all. Um, I like the chain details on it and I love the I'm gonna say that this is leopard print. Tell me down below if that is cheetah or leopard. I have no idea what the difference is. It does have a zipper like the others. Hers is gold and it fully does unzip open. There's the inside for anyone that is curious. There's a close up of the sleeping bag pattern. I almost like this one better. The other two girls didn't have any design in the inside of their sleeping bag. So it feels like maybe they put a lot more budget into Marissa. Obviously she is like the one in the middle. So obviously she is the main of this line. And then it does have the two little fasteners as well with some Velcro so that you can roll up the sleeping bag. I will show you what that looks like right now. There's a sleeping bag fully rolled up as well so that your girl can carry it to her sleepover. I love that they did that. I just wanted to say as well, the doll does fit in the sleeping bag, but the pillow does not fit. So if you want to put the pillow in it and the doll, you can't. Like the head is just too big. It's just going to be like too much. So the pillow technically has to be like up here and then the doll's head would be right here. Which, I mean, whatever. Like, we're getting a really nice, comfy, cushiony pillow. Like, look how thick that is. And that would look amazing in, like, a dollhouse or, like, your Rainbow High house, for instance. It does have the exact same pattern on it, but this is obviously a cotton material. It is texture cotton, though, so all the chain details actually have texture to them. Which I'm, like, 10 out of 10 for that. I love the quality of both of these. Definitely higher quality than the other two girls. And I definitely almost like it better because it actually does feel like a real sleeping bag material. Right, so now it's finally time for the doll. Is everyone ready to meet Marissa Golding? Because I am. She does have gold nails as well. Her skin tone with this coloring is absolutely gorgeous. Now as for the gel, I did mention that in my other videos as well. I believe that Brianna had the least amount now that I'm feeling Marissa's hair. Because as you can see, the hair... It's definitely not as soft as the other girls. Yeah, it's definitely the least soft. Rooting wise, she is a little bit bald. She doesn't have a lot of hair. So you can see right there, her rooting is kind of sparse, especially because the color of her hair. I think that she could have deserved to have a little bit more. Ponytail is really cute. Love that she actually comes with a material scrunchie. This is a leopard scrunchie. Her mask is more like a black leather mask. It does say rainbow and gold on it. I love is it actually leather? Oh my god, it feels like leather. They definitely put so much effort into her. Now, do you want to see her face? Because her face is gorge. Also, these big, giant RH earrings. Stunning. Look at her face close up. Like, I love the beauty mark by her eye. Her eye color. The gold liner on her shadow. But I love that her eyes are orange as well. That lip color, like the mocha lip, like the 90s mocha lip. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This is a good way for you to see like the different colors of her hair. Cause she's got some platinum blonde, some more yellowy blonde, some more beige blonde. Love that, especially with her tan skin tone. Now articulation wise, they do have articulation in the elbows, articulation in the hands. These ones do have a moving head mechanism so that it can go up and down. It's just that it is a little bit stiff right away. So you can get it to go backwards and forwards by the way and obviously the regular side to side they have a really good knee articulation too with these ones she can get her foot pretty far back so she's got this really cute bralette on that does say rainbow with some mesh detailing on the top I love that I love this little boxer-esque like look at it look at all the details there's a hood on it, it says sparkle on the back then the side again what does that actually say oh it says rainbow and it's embroidered patches as well. We're getting, how many embroidered patches is there? Three embroidered patches on this. They are literally killing 
the game. And there's even chain detailing on the bottom of it. There's chain detailing on the bottom of her shorts to really tie in as well. The shorts have real working pockets on them. They're just like a black basic one on the back. And then she's got these really cute cat slippers on it. These ones are plastic. The other two were fully flocked. I would have liked to have these flocked, to be honest, um, just so that it matches the other girls better. But it does have the little tails on the back. Here's what she looks like without her robe on as well. These shorts, really tight, hard to get off, probably hard to get back on. Her hand pegs as well. She does have that random long one and then that random little short hand peg. So I'm not loving that because the long ones are super hard to get in. Like you almost break the peg off. Top of this as well, I feel like isn't the best of quality, but down here is, I feel like the mesh is just like really like, yeah, you take it off once or twice. It's going to fly around. This outfit, the quality, 12 out of 10. She looks so good in this. And these two pieces, I cannot tell you how much like obsesses an understatement with like how obsessed I am with these pieces how thick the cotton material is or I guess is this cotton I don't really know but it literally feels like a full pair of sweatpants and a full sweatshirt that like we would wear like a champion sweater or something definitely feels like that it's like a really pretty really nice lounging outfit I love, 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 love the sneakers as well. I love that there's like just like a little platform on it. Stunning. They almost look like Adidas shoes. Could be wrong, but it's got like the little striping, which is making me think of Adidas. So I don't know exactly what suit this is. Is it Champion? I don't know. Is it Champion that has it down the leg? You can see on her sweater, it does say rainbow. We have an embroidered detail again on the pants. Again with these... Same as the other girls, all of the strings on their pants made them tighter or looser, which I think is like literally genius that you can literally tie it tighter, but you do have to untie the bows in order to get the pants on because it's a little bit too tight in the packaging. It's got, she's got little tiny R's down the sleeves. So that's what I'm wondering if that is what was on her sock. It must be an R and not a B. So my bad, but an embroidered R on this embroidered R on this. There was other embroidered things on her robe. They really killed this launch. They really, really did. There's another little close up of the shoes as well. It does say RH on the back. So yeah, what is your full thoughts on Miss Marissa Golding? I would say for me, overall, I think that you are definitely getting your money's worth with this doll. Much more than the other two. And then I will show you one thing as well that I did notice since doing yesterday's video of their skin tones. They are all a different skin tone and they are all a different skin undertone at that, which is like, they really paid a lot of detail to every single girl to make them really go really cohesive with this line. So overall, I need to give this line like maybe a nine out of 10 for all three dolls. This particular doll, Marissa, I'm gonna have to give her a 9 out of 10 too because I love her sleeping bag, love her robe. Her robe is such good quality. It's like really thick too. I love that it's like a little boxer robe. Like there's just something about that. I don't know. It's really cute, very sporty. I love her little slippers, even though they are plastic. I will let that slide because we got two other flock slippers. I'm fine with it. This and the embroider details on all the clothes really make up for the flock slippers this mm, not so sure about that's fine same as all of the little shorts and their little sets being way too right, tight so i just wanted to show you all three of the girls beside each other just to show you the full overall collection look at the difference between the three so we have one that's really light skin tone we have marissa who's really golden and then we have miss robin who's really dark Robin's undertone is really cool. Marissa's is really warm. And then hers is a nice neutral. She's a little bit pinky in her skin, but she still has that nice golden hue to it. So I love that they gave us a neutral undertone, a warm undertone, and then a cool undertone. 
What is your full overall opinions on all three girls? I would really like to know which one your favorite is down below. If there is anything that I missed or any questions or any pictures of any three of the dolls that you would like or would like any of those questions answered, leave them down below or send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is at Courtney Fears. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big, huge thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well to join the Spheres family. I make new videos every single Fierce Friday and Saturdays. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for another video. Bye, you guys, and remember to always stay fierce.